let's try to attempt the question again together. Uh, the question read as a point for making a hole in a steel plate. A steel plate on our diagram is represented by that blue glass like plate that is on that stand or stage, whatever they call it. Um, as shown in figure 9, assuming that this is our figure 9, as I've just indicated, figure 9, how to spell, how to write 9? 9, yes. This is our figure 9, and Uh, the the pan uh, assume that the pan having a diameter of nine of of twenty millimeters. So the puncher is this object that is going to make a hole on this plate. Of which they said it has a diameter of twenty times ten negative three. Remember we eight millimeters here. Okay, it is used uh, to punch a hole in a plate of 8 meters thick, 8 millimeters thick, so you know how much you hit millimeters, you're just going to take that 8 times 10, negative 3 meters, that is the thickness, okay, and as shown in the cross section, B part, okay, if force P of one one hundred and ten kilo newtons. We also hate kilo times ten power three newton that is going to be our force. Okay, is required to create a hole. What is an average shear stress in the plate and the average compression? stress in the punch but before everything i want you to notice some contradicting weight here this one is shear stress and this one is compressive stress remember if you're trying to punch here a hole this is the material let me say this is the plate it's going to deform like this just let me say just before it's just a hole is is made let me say you are putting your puncher here it's just going to deform like this what is happening here on the edges it is experiencing shear force so the plate is under shear stress while the puncher this is the puncher here on its face circular face here it is experiencing a compression force because it is pushed up this one is sheared here, trying to cut off or piece off a whole piece piecing, okay? So, I, I hope this one makes sense. Okay, back to our work. Let's do... Let's do our work. Let's start with the simple one. Let's start with the, the stress compressive one on the punch. That is going to be force over area. We know the force it was given to be 110 times 10 power 3 all over area. Area of this, we're looking at the circle, right? And we know the area of the circle is pi r squared. What is r? We don't have r, but we do have diameter, right? Diameter was given to be. 20 so our r is going to be 10 times 10 power negative 3 4 millimeter squared and then you let your calculator do everything from here and then your calculator should give you 3501408748 and you all know what I always say if you have a net, you can try to move the comma. I don't know how many times until it seems in the most readable manner. But for me, I've done my work. I'm done. So that was a compression stress, compressive stress that was experienced on the puncher, right? But we know that if the puncher is 
pushing this piece on this plate the plate is going to experience another stress and that stress is called shear right it will be shearing here so it's going to be forced all over area but take note here this is a normal normal stress so that's why it, the force and the area are keeping equal so this is like this is the area and the force is like this and you get your compression which you compression compressing this area but for the case of the shear the the force and the area should be what should be parallel let me look at this let me say they were successful on, on piecing this hole we're looking at the inner area of this coin because that's where the shear the shearing is happening so if we're trying to find the inner area of this thing we can just unwrap this cylinder and if you unwrap it you go, it's going to be like a rectangle and this upper part or should i say these sides are going to be exactly equal to the circumference and this one is going to equal to the height or you can call it thickness on our case okay and we can work with that now hopefully we can get we can get to the correct answer with that so we're saying that the area should be the circumference and the circumference is what is 2 pi r or pi diameter better that way so it's going to be pi diameter times height pi diameter remember is the side circumference side and height is the thickness okay so pi let me not just let me just plug it here because we have everything okay diameter was given to be 20 times 10 I hate millimeters close and the height is the thickness it's so it was given to be 8 times 10 negative 3 again because we all hate millimeters what what do we have here we have area right to satisfy our problem we know that its area should be in the bottom and on top there should be a force a force of one zero one k newton we also hate newton right kilos okay so if we hate kilos so much we're just going to multiply by 10 negative 3 and then we do all the math here successfully we're just going to reach our shear stress and if you are successful in putting this data on your calculator computer the same you should be able to compute and come with a result like 188 3804 6.8 and if you are not enough you know what to do you just move the comma on and on and on and on until you put it where you want to be so right now i am calling